Good evening everyone and welcome to Sugar and Crumbs. My name's Tracy Mann from Tracy Mann Cakes and this evening I'm going to be making a pumpkin themed Halloween cake. So it's all to play for tonight, you know what I'm like. We have all these ideas and then we hope that they all go together really well. Normally we're okay so it should be fine. So I'm not here alone, I have got Kelly with me tonight. Hi! So Kelly is in the house tonight so if you do have any comments or questions that you want to ask while we're doing the cake then do please let us know and um, we'll be more than happy to help you um, create your own pumpkin cake. <laughs> It's not a natural pumpkin, it's it's a pumpkin themed cake I should say, so there you go. Uh, but if you do have any questions during the evening then do please let us know and we will be more than happy to help you. So I wasn't here last week because so I've been in wedding mode as most of you have known. I've put a few of my wedding cakes up over the last couple of weeks on the community board. It has been absolutely horrendously busy that's all I can describe it as uh, another two weddings this week and then I'm on holiday next week so all of those in Northern Ireland I'm heading your way and I don't wish to see any rain so if you could just stem the rain for for Northern Ireland next week that'd be good Maureen <laughs> I'm coming your way next week uh, so yes I'm heading to Northern Ireland next week for a holiday and then I'll be back after that so I'm here today I'll be demonstrating on Saturday for those of you that watch me on Saturdays and then I will be on my holidays uh, for a week so that's nice so oh, loads of people coming in thank you very much uh, so Kelly is here this evening as well um, and if you have any questions then do please let us know and we will help you um, so one of the things that we have got that's just come out actually I'll take this down hold on I've got to remember where it is I've got to get my glasses I've got so much icing sugar on my glasses I can't see what I'm doing um <laughs> uh, we've got a brand new painting class for Halloween I'm just going to reach over and pick her up she is called a classy witch <laughs> so here she is so this is brand new this class um I always have to go on that side, don't I? It's the reverse to what I can see in the camera. So there we go. So this is a brand new painting class. I could put it under the other camera, actually. That would be even easier, wouldn't it? Let me do that. Let's see how that works. Oh, perfect. There she is. This is our brand new class. Um, if you do want to join this online cake painting class, you need to go to this address here, which is tracymancakeschool.co.uk. Kelly's already put a link up there for you. Um, she is a pre-recorded class. Um, she's going to be available from Saturday. So if you sign up now, you will then get your links and everything on Saturday. She is actually finished. Um, so the ones that have already signed up, you'll probably get your links a little bit earlier anyway. Um, <laughs> she is on an eight inch board um, and she does come with um, a template. So for those of you that are in living fear of painting um, and worried about um, how to actually do painting, you don't have to worry because I'm going to give you a template to do it. And it's just two colours. It's just black and white. So this is a really cheap, low uh, cost one for this. I'm trying not to read Nikki's comments because she put, did you model for this, Kelly? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, I've just got that. It's coming up. No, well, everyone's saying she's gorgeous, so the answer's yes. Yeah, she did, obviously. Um, yeah, so this is the new project for Halloween. It's on offer at the moment. It's £15. It is a pre-recorded class. Um, it will normally be 25 I think I've got it down for on the school site. So if you do want to sign up for it, you need to go to tracymannatcakeschool.co.uk. Kelly will put a link up for you if she hasn't done already. She's done it already. Okay. Don't be put off by thinking if you can't paint or any of those things, um, you will be absolutely fine with this. We give you a template, two colours. I mean, it couldn't be easier with just two colours. You can't go wrong. Um, you are going to need a lovely thin paintbrush. So if you have got my paintbrushes or any other paintbrushes, you're going to need the really delicate ones to be able to do, especially the facial features with this. Um, but it's a really nice project. Um, it's suitable for everybody so if you have never had a go before um, then think about having a go because it is a really really nice one to do I enjoyed doing it actually and Kelly enjoyed modeling didn't you Kel yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put it over here um, so if you do want to have a look at it I'll put it at the back here there we go and then when we know where it is otherwise I'll end up knocking it over or doing something else let's take that down while I remember so we're going to start looking at Halloween projects now. Yeah. Oh, Kelly loves Halloween on a serious scale. Um, so we're going to do a Halloween pumpkin themed cake tonight. And then when I return, not next week, the following week, we will then start ranking up more and more 
um, Halloween bits and pieces. So you'll see loads and loads of um, different ideas for Halloween. Like to do lots of different things. So that's the aim of this. But tonight we're going to do a pumpkin cake. So we are actually going to be doing a cake, uh, not a shaped pumpkin cake. We're doing it completely differently. But um, you'll see and um, as it unfolds um, in my head, I can see what it looks like. So let's just hope that that matches. Sometimes it does. <laughs> Most of the time it does, so we should be fine. Right, let's have a look at what we're doing tonight. So let's move this back a little bit so you can see it. There we go. So this is a five inch cake by, I think it's four inches in height. It might come out a bit more actually, four and a bit, four and a half inches height. Yeah, because it threw me with my transfers. You'll see what I mean later on. So five inches across by four and a half inches um, in diameter. How big a board have we got here? Let's move that off for a second and see what we've got, have we? We've got an eight inch round board. So we're going to do that bit first. We're going to pop the cake over there. Now I've already ganached my cake um, because I've got a lot to do in a very short space of time. I'm going to get rid of this turntable for a Are second. Are you feeling better? Am I feeling better? I am feeling better, thank you very much. As most of you or some of you know, I haven't been very well for the last few weeks. <laughs> but I'm getting there now. I need to be getting there because I've got to get on a ferry. <laughs> next week so I need to be feeling better I need to have my balance back so I'm just going to put some water on here that's all I'm going to do just to stick this down and I have pre-coloured some orange sugar paste so you can see that here now I use this one here which is called no it's just just called orange well there you go <laughs> I saw see some thought went into that one Kelly so this is just pro gel orange and some sugar paste and I needed this before I came on um, live because otherwise it shakes the cameras around to bits and we all know how to knead um, colour into sugar paste so that's what I've done so I'm just going to roll this out and I haven't got my pink board out tonight because I am going to be doing some painting later on and I, I live in fear of burning that board so <laughs> there is no sign of my pink board tonight now where's those needles that Donna sent me where are they here we go these acupuncture needles they're very good actually as long as you can keep track of them for the air bubbles. Right, let's move that over there so I don't lose them. Let's put that down. Right, so if you've got any air bubbles, you can get rid of them. Look at this. Donna is my main supply of these. <laughs> right, so we're just going to roll this out. There we go. Marie said if you have time, she'd love to meet for a coffee. You can go to the ice cream shop. We can't go to the ice cream shop twice because your dad will find out. But yes, I'm around. Uh... Marie, persuade her. No. <laughs> get ice cream with mum. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to meet anybody from Northern Ireland. It'd be Wednesday morning because that's when my husband is playing golf. And so I made him play. <laughs> I was trying to book something mad like paddle boarding lessons or something, but I've, I've, I'm not sure. So I'd probably be better off with a cup of tea, I think, really. So there you go. All right, let's get rid of all those air bubbles. Oh, just love these. OK, so it's not very big. There you go. It's not the world's biggest board. So let's pick this up. All right, pop that underneath and then we'll pop that straight over the top like that. Where's my chair? Let me sit down and save me falling over at this point. I've got my camera in very low at the moment. What's it? Maureen's on a ferry in the great storm of 87. <laughs> Don't tell me that. Oh, I'm not very good. You could be on the storm of 2000. Oh, I just want to get over there as fast as possible. Never mind. Right, so there we go. We just smoothed that down. And then we'll use our plastic side scraper. Just... See, Nikki's got the right idea. That's why I said Nikki. Meet Maureen <laughs> at the ice cream shop. That's terrible. I'm going there the day before. Two days on the trot, I'll explode. Yeah. I'm and on holiday. Like, oh, it's you again. I know. I'm on holiday, exactly. so that's okay. <laughs> right, let's just cut this orange off with my plastic side scraper. There we go. Done. That was easy, wasn't it? Let's not make a big deal out of covering boards, but you've got to cover your boards because they look so much better if you cover your boards. Now, we're going to actually assemble the majority of this cake first before we do the decorations tonight because um, we're going to be using some sugar sheets that we've got. Um, and this time of year, for some reason or other, humidity takes control and they can be an absolute pain so if anybody is using anything like um, I'm going to show you another example actually I've got one next to me 
I'll put one in the fridge and I'll explain why I put it in the fridge in a minute. Um, so, these are what I'm talking about. Edible prints, edible sheets. Um, these are great, um, but they are a pain at this time of year. And it's always in September because it's very humid. And you think the summer is over, but the humidity is so high that it actually makes it really difficult to get these off the plastic sheets. So what you need to do is you need to put the sheet in the fridge. Um, if you put the sheet in the fridge, it will then peel off. If you put it in the freezer, it's much quicker, but you've got to keep an eye on it. So um, if you do get any sheets of any description of edible print and they're not coming off the sheets, put them in the fridge or freezer. Freezer literally for about a minute. Fridge, you probably need to leave it in there a bit longer, more like sort of 20 minutes or so. Um, so that's what I did earlier today because I had this vision I wouldn't be able to get them off the backing sheet while I was live. I did not fancy that idea. So... Um, um, I've done that in advance so we're going to be using a pumpkin sheet and we're going to roll out some grey sugar paste that I've pre-coloured and we're going to mount these sheets on there and we're going to wrap them around the uh, cake that we've got down here. Maureen just said have I had my hair done? I've had my hair cut quite dramatically actually but I have got it up at the moment so it's not that short but yes I have had my hair cut it needed it. <laughs> Right, let's get over to here and move that board out of the way. So, first thing we're going to do is, do am I going to put this turntable back on? That's a good question. I think I might actually, while we're doing this bit, let's pop that back on there. There we go. And we're just going to take some water and we're just going to, mug. I've ganached this earlier. It's not perfect, as you can see, but it doesn't Should need to be. Should you put your sheets in a plastic bag in the freezer? Or oh I, no, I just take them straight out, but that's only when I'm ready to use them. Don't store them in the freezer, just use them. Um, so like if you've got um, a bit you want to do then and there, put it in the freezer, just loose for a, literally a minute or two and then take them out and you'll peel them off, no problem. It's only when you're ready to use them, don't store them in the freezer. Um, that's no good. Just storm at room temperature. It's just this time of year. It's always the same every year in September. It's always very humid and the sheets start to play up and that's why. So that's how you get around it. I'm not too worried about the beauty of this cake to be perfectly honest because we're going to cover all this in a second. Anyway, that's a ganached cake. Um, let's pop that over there so I don't spill it. Oh no, I need that. What am I doing? Let's put that over there. Right. Okay. So, we're going to do them in two bits. I've got water everywhere now, that's helpful. Let's find some kitchen roll and clear that up. There we go, that's better. Right, let's go onto this screen here. I'm actually just going to move you back to that screen in a minute. I have got this so close, I can hardly roll anything out. <laughs> I had it all lined up ready to do the painting you see and I thought oh god this is right on top of me I can't see what I'm doing so we're going to roll this out we'll do it did I do it in half yeah we'll do it in half we'll do it in two sections so this is just sugar paste it's nothing strange uh, brand wise it's actually satinara but it really doesn't matter because you're not going to see it it's just a bit of backing sugar paste just to hold the um, sheets in place so these are called, this particular sheet we've got is a pumpkin sheet. It's called pumpkin wrap. Pumpkin sugar wrap. Okay. Well, Kelly will put a little link up for you in case anybody's looking for it and wants to have a go. You probably want to see what it turns out like first. <laughs> right, let me get... So no pressure. No pressure. Right. Let's move that over there. So we're going to... I'm going to get this bit done first in case anything goes wrong because if anything goes wrong Kelly will be running back home to print another sheet. Oh. <laughs> I'm just letting you know now Kelly. Yeah, that's fair. And I've got a backup one in my fridge actually just in case. I have back another backup one but I actually managed to damage that one so um, we've got backup backup if that makes any sense. Right okay so we have done that bit there. So we don't want this to be too thick. If we make it too thick, then when we wrap it around the cake, it may or may not join. It should join. But if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It can go at the back. Right, so let's bring this sheet over. Uh, let's pick one up carefully. 
So let's see how much space we actually need. It's so lovely to have you back, Tracy. I've missed that gig all day. You go. Who said that? Donna. <laughs> Donna. <laughs> yeah, I'm still laughing. Don't worry. At myself mainly. Right. I've got this sheet upside down at the moment. Might actually help if I put the knife around the right way. And I'm just going to cut the rough area that I need to paint with water because I don't really want to paint everything with water. So let's move that out of the way. Put that over there for a second. Right, this is the pumpkin sheet that we're going to wrap around this cake. It's very soft. I say they're not normally as soft as this. It's just typical because of the weather at the moment that they are as soft as this. Let's move this over there. And we're going to take hold of some water, which you must not get on there, otherwise the, the um, picture will come off. And we're just going to make this damp. So we're not going to make this completely soaking, just damp. Okay, so note that I'm not keep putting my brush back in that water. I just need enough so that it sticks. Okay, like so. And then, oh, I have got water on it. Would you blinking believe it? Good thing you've got a backup sheet. Good job. <laughs> yeah, don't get any water on it. Oh, even they include me and not me being on. They've missed you, Kelly, have they? Did you guys miss you? Oh, right, okay, so I'm going to take this sheet, this is why I want to get this done first, in case anything goes wrong, and I'm going to lower this down, like that, there we go, so far so good, onto this bit of sugar paste, oh I've got an air bubble in the middle, oh I wonder if those acupuncture needles, where have I put that, this is the only thing with these acupuncture needles, you've got to keep track of them, right, now you've got a tiny air bubble in there. I'm not going to lift this sheet up because it'll get damaged. So let's not do that. Let's pop that in there. No oh. Saturday lives for two weeks? No, no, I'm live Saturday. I'm live earlier. Nine, oh, 9.30. You failed to tell me that. Yeah, well, I know. Well, I only decided earlier today. You'll have to get out of bed, Kelly. Um, because I've got to go to another wedding. Um, I need to go to the wedding. I'm really working on Saturday. Oh, well, that's not good, is it? Um, I'm just feeling if I've got any more air bubbles. The acupuncture needles, they oh, work no, a treat for this. So if you have any air bubbles, once you put these sheets down, we all need acupuncture needles. All right, there we go. I've got one more there, I can just feel. Gosh, I didn't do that very well. There we go. Uh, okay, done. Right, let's move that over there. And then what we'll do is we'll just trim this up. So we'll just take our... I'll set my alarm. Who's that? Nikki? Maureen says we should do a live from the ice cream shop. Oh yeah, let's do that. Oh, so now you want to go to the ice cream shop two days in a row, do you? That would be funny. Yeah, well, I'll talk to Carol about that. <laughs> oh dear, she'll just laugh. Right, so we're just trimming. Trimming the grey sugar paste away. Now this is going to sit, uh, if you did a normal cake like I should have done, it would have been exactly four inches. This is four inches across here. Um, because I got distracted when I was doing it, the cake has come out four and a half inches. So we're going to sort of set it a bit higher. I'm going to have a gap at the bottom. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll do some piping and sprinkles and all that sort of stuff later on. So it's not the end of the world, but it's just the way it is. We will get round it. Okay, so we've got some water on here. What we want to do is make sure it's not too wet because the problem is if it's too wet, this will slide. So you want to make sure that it's not completely soaking wet. Right. And also that we're not going to get any water on it. Let's have a little clear up to make sure that doesn't happen. Right, okay, so we're going to pick this up and we're going to wrap this on the top edge around the cake so there will be a gap at the bottom but that's fine we're happy with that watch your fingers make sure you haven't got any water on there otherwise you will have a problem okay now that fits exactly in half but as long as you don't roll that paste out too thick it should meet it should so there we go so that's what we're looking at, at the side at the moment so it's very quick this is the nice thing about this it's very quick the top bit's not quick but the um putting on this pattern is very very quick okay so we've done that bit now we're going to do that again 
So let's move back over to here again. That's my chair going in and out. Right. So we'll keep it thin if we can. Don't want it to get too thick. There we go. That's probably about right. Just make sure I can pick it up. There we go. Now, where's my other sheet? There we go. So this is all on one sheet, okay? So you get two of these on one sheet. So I'm gonna just flip that over again. I'm scared of these. I'm scared of these live, I've got to be honest. If I could think of anything to do other than this. Tempered chocolate. Uh, well, <laughs> tempering chocolate can have its moments, but um, these live are scary. <laughs> I don't like doing them live. Okay, it's fine. I'm smiling my way through it, everybody. It'll be fine. I think I've mixed up enough grey to do all the Halloween cakes for the next month, Kelly. <laughs> That's fine. There we go. Now, right, I'm going to sit back down again. So we're going to do the same again. Just peel this back. Breathe occasionally. Right, water back on again. Making sure you don't get it absolutely everywhere. Maybe Maureen's got a better, better recommendation than that ice cream shop, but I don't, no, I don't think there will be. The last time I just like how you order it, and you think, oh, it won't be that much, and they're it's huge, huge. and embarrassing because they put like <laughs> fun little, you know, like so embarrassing. It's great it fun. It is. I remember when we went last time, and there were like a group of like teen boys, and they all had like one scoop each, and each of us had like, a huge Sunday. I was like, oh no. Okay, so we're gonna put that on there. Oh, thank goodness. Right. We're heading in the right direction now, Kelly. We've got one air bubble there that I can feel. Let's get rid of that. There we go. So far, so good. Put one in his eye there. Right. And breathe. So let's take this off. This over this side here, so we'll do this one. So these are all edible, just remember that. So you can cut the cake as normal and you can eat these. I love these sheets, but I don't like doing them live. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, I've got water on it again. How does that happen? Mm. I know. I'm not going to touch it. Well, I'll just dab it can see a tiny amount of water. Okay, right, let's go back to the other one. And here we go again. So now we've got to line this up. Now these patterns should match, apparently. So let's pick this up. I need two pairs of hands doing this, I'll tell you. Do you want yeah, it's going to overlap a little bit. No, it's okay. It's fine. Don't worry. We'll cut that back. So we'll line this one up. And then we'll have the other one as a, a back join. There we go. Look at that. Okay, there we go. And then round this side. Now there is an overhang here. You can see it's a little bit longer it's the reverse of what happened to me last time so what we'll do is we'll just trim this back and we'll have that at the back so we won't worry about that bit particularly just cut that back a little bit more i could use a knife as well but i don't know scissors just a little bit easier there we go, and then we'll have that round the back. That's going to be our front, like that, okay? It is like wallpapering. I'm really good at wallpapering, actually. Oh, God. 
Don't get us started. <laughs> she went through this phase of feature wall wallpaper. Is anybody room. watching Changing Rooms at the moment with Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen? Because he's back on, and I love that program. I have to say, I was that person back in the nineties, opening paint pots, going, "Oh, look at that." putting it on my walls no mummy would go oh our walls are green our carpet's green let's make our let's make everything green <laughs> i was stenciling everything i was you name my it my bedroom growing up was <laughs> intense i had like creepy clouds with smiley faces and like suns and stuff Kelly loved you painted it. like a mural what is the height of this cake again it is four and a half inches it's actually half an inch taller than what I normally do hence why there's a gap at the bottom but we're not worried about the gap at the bottom because we're going to pipe over that so we're not going to lose any sleep over that and then what we're going to do I'm just going to lift this off we're going to put the board on I'm going to pop some royal icing on here and then we're going to pop this back on again and we're just going to press that down so don't forget there is going to be a gap gap is fine we're happy with the gap there we go and then the last little bit of sugar paste to do is the top so we're going to do this with um, black so let's find we could have done it with the grey actually couldn't we yeah should we do it with the grey or the black doesn't really matter well it will matter because it'll annoy I me black. <laughs> you know what I'm like I'll look at it and I'll regret it and it's one silly decision so we're going to do it black so all we're going to do for the top piece is just cut out a circle of sugar paste. Now, I would never in a million years ever consider dyeing um, black sugar paste. Buy it. It's a hell of a lot easier than trying to make it yourself. So I wouldn't do that. Got oil icing everywhere. Okay, let's give that a bit of a knead to get it going. Just going to move that out the way. And then we're going to just roll this out. So we've got a bit of a circle and that can then go on the top. Now, because this wasn't originally, uh, so it was originally a five inch round cake. Since I've put all the ganache and everything on, it has actually grown a little bit. So I'm just going to use a template to cut the top piece out. But what I'm going to do is cut a little bit wider than the template itself because um, if I hold it over the top, yeah, it's just a little bit bigger all the way round. So we'll pop that on there. Make sure it moves. There we go. Pop that on. And then we'll take hold of... I've got everything around me. Right, we'll just literally go just a tiny little bit wider all the way round. So not hugely wider, just a little bit just to allow for the ganache really. It's probably not completely round either. <laughs> but that's okay, it doesn't matter. And then we'll lift that off, which of course that's now stuck because it's so humid. There we go. Right, I'll bring this cake underneath so you can see on this camera here. So that's the top and we're going to just take some water and paint that over the top. It's got a little bit of black on it because it's come from the grey sugar paste but that's all right and then we're going to just pop this on top we probably will end up with a little gap but that's okay we're not worried about that either and we'll pop that on oh that's pretty good going um, let's get hold of the famous smedges and push that towards that so if you want to help it get into the right position just use your smoother rather than your fingers fingers do more damage just guide it in everything is sticky oh it's just this time of year it's a nightmare okay that's it that's all we need to do just cover the top part I'm not too worried about anything else on that we just dab that okay there we go that's it fine. Moeen's just said, is everyone looking forward to the bake-off? And do you know what my answer to that is? <laughs> no, because we have to work faster. <laughs> we have to be off by eight o'clock on here, so we have to do everything twice as quick. So um, yeah, we'll let you know on that one. Right, if there's anything you need to trim around the edge, you can do so, but I think actually that's okay. I'm quite happy with that. So we will put that there. 
and now we're going to look at our decoration so we're going to leave the cake as is there we go we're going to put that over to one side and we're going to look at the pumpkin that we're going to make so i have made it in advance because we are actually going to paint it let me bring this in over here so you can see what i've done so let me have a little tidy up as well so that you're not all looking at my rubbish so i have got here a chocolate pumpkin now i have made this using this mold here i'm going to just take it out for a second so this is a 3D hollow pumpkin mould, um, you can see it there. Now this, um, what I've done with this earlier, I made this earlier today, um, I made it with white chocolate and what I added to the white chocolate was some of the sunset orange, which I did have out. Can you see if that sunset orange is next to you? Because I've used that today I think. Brilliant. So I've tempered some white chocolate and then I've added some of this sunset orange into the chocolate and I have turned it not bright, bright orange, but obviously you can see that it is a nice pale orange colour and we're going to paint it. So basically we're going to paint this pumpkin to match the pumpkins that are on the side of the cake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my mould to hold it still so that I don't have to hold it. So I'm going to just use that as a rest point for me to be able to then put the pumpkin in there and be able to paint it. Otherwise, we're going to have a bit of a crisis on our hands. So before we do anything else, I am going to wash my hands because they are all covered in black and I can't do anything else with them. Let's get those clean first. We watch the Bake Off, don't we, Kelly? Yeah. Mum normally falls asleep whenever they say technical challenge. I normally fall asleep in the technical challenge every time without fail. It's almost got to the point where you, um, <laughs> they say the words technical challenge and I'm, Ooh, I'm gone. <laughs> it's not because I'm bored, I'm just tired. So, especially if I've been deming. Now I'm just going to move. I have the... lots of pink chocolate. Can I just add orange? Um, what would pink and orange make if you mix them together? I'm asked colour theory Kelly a, here. It would be a bit of an odd colour, to be honest. We're going to paint it anyway. So, and anyway, I would do a pink pumpkin. It's not solid chocolate, no, it's hollow. Um, so you can fill it. I mean, you could make it hollow if you wanted, but it's a lot of chocolate, but you could fill it with sweeties. Yeah, you could put um, Smarties and things in it. So you could put all sorts of little treats and stuff in there. It's like, um, what's the um, chocolate bomb things? You could hit them with a hammer or something, couldn't you? Smash the um, pumpkin. Right now, so I'm going to bring in the cocoa butter painting stuff. So if we're going to do any painting of any description on chocolate, we have to use cocoa butter. Um, now let's just turn that round a bit so we can see how we set this up. So there are we. Might help if I put the right camera on. There we go. So this is the system that I use for cocoa butter painting. I'm looking at that and thinking I hope that's going to last. So this is a chrome food warmer. Carol and I both don't sell these. They are available on Amazon if you're just going for a chrome food warmer. You don't have to use one of these. You can use boiling water. Um, in that case, you, can, you don't need one of these, but you will need a metal paint palette. So this is the bit that stays hot. And we need this to stay hot because we're going to use a product called cocoa butter. So there we go. That's cocoa butter. That's what it looks like. And let's pop that there. So we're just going to put a few buttons on. You don't need very many. The packets last absolutely ages and you will see the chocolate start to melt as we do it or the cocoa butter, I should say. So we're going to use a couple of colours for those of you that have um, already followed me and do lots of painting because that's what I tend to do a lot of. Then you probably have most of these colours. So we have white. So it's, these are dusting colours. They're not gels. We don't use gels. We don't use pastes. We only use dusting colours. Um, we're going to use red. Only a little bit of red. Mind you, if I say only a little bit of red, then half the packet will come out. That's usually what happens. And we're going to use green. We're going to use moss green, which is a little bit lighter than the one I normally use, which is woodland green. I use that one a lot. And we need black and white. We've got white. So I've done that one. Oh, I've got two lots of white out tonight just to confuse myself. And the black's exploded, which it normally does. Right, there we go. So let me just have a mini clear up. Oh, and we need sunset orange, of course we do. So we need that as well. So let's pop that in to do some shading. Don't go through very much colour. Um, you'll find that you'll be able to 
paint and paint and paint with these little tubes. So I'm just going to have a mini clear up here of tubes of colour. There we go. Pop them on there so you can see the cocoa butter melting. We're going to be using some smallish brushes tonight. We're not going to use huge ones. We're using Kelly's favourite one. Zero. Zero brush. Now I've been painting Christmas today, so I'm going to have to investigate my brushes. So I have got and no pink. Zero. Says. There's no pink in this tonight. I know. I'm looking forward to seeing what Joe's pumpkin comes out like because she's got pink. <laughs> so I've been banned from pink tonight. Um, we use paintbrush number one and zero. I think that's probably all we need and actually. Joe says yay painting. Yay painting. <laughs> we are painting everybody. Um, okay, so that's it. That's all we need. And then what I'll do is I'll move this around um, and turn it around for when we need to use this. So we're going to, let me just make sure I can get everything on screen at the same time. This might be a bit of a challenge actually. Let's have a look. There we go. That's not too bad. Actually, we do need a paintbrush too. You need a little bit of kitchen roll as well or paper towel so that you can clean your brushes in between. What have we got here? I've got paintbrush three. I've definitely had a two here somewhere. Is that paintbrush two? No, that's paintbrush three. Where are we? What's that one? Oh, that's one. I think they're multiplying. How come I've got so many paintbrush threes? Here Roger we go. Taylor's drama from, from Queen. Roger Taylor. Has Queen's a wist daughter, like the daughter, had a wisteria cocoa butter painted wedding cake. Wondered if it, if any of the traditions. Ooh, that's nice. That's interesting, isn't it? Uh, painted cakes, they're going to be in, you see. You're going to want to do painted cake courses. <laughs> okay, so we have got paintbrush. What have I got here? Number two. So mine are all numbered and that just helps me to help you get the right colours. So all I'm going to do, I'm just cleaning my brush out because I've been um, painting Christmas today. So I've got to just get my brushes cleaned first. So I just dip them in cocoa butter and I just wipe them on a piece of kitchen roll. Simple as that. And we're going to pick up some sunset orange, which is very, very dark and bright. And we're going to put some white in there. So we have less colour and we're going to add a little bit more cocoa butter. We can have it quite sort of runny. And we're just going to paint the back of this quite quickly because we're not really going to see too much of this. So all I'm going to do, you'll see me start on this side and I will try and tip it as best I can so you can see, um, is just literally take it up the side. We're not painting this in one colour like so. Let me just take hold of a dry brush which hopefully doesn't have anything on it. And we can just blend this colour through. Can you see? Oh, you can. So we're just going to bring that up like that because pumpkins aren't all one flat colour. We have enormous pumpkins in our garden. Have we got them, Kelly? Yeah! I bought pumpkin seeds. That your dad has grown for you. They are huge. I'll have to take a photo of you when, when they're done. So this is Sunset Orange with white, so make sure it's got some white in it to start with. And we're just kind of working up from the bottom here. And we'll go across this way. I've got to be careful not to smash this. Now, one of the reasons I didn't make this live and then uh, paint it is because when you come to paint chocolate, you need it to be back up to room temperature and it can take about half an hour, although it's so, so warm, I think it'd be done in about five minutes. So when you make your pumpkin, make sure that it's at room temperature before you start painting it. Otherwise, um, you're going to find that what happens is the minute you put the cocoa butter onto the chocolate, it will immediately set and you won't be able to do anything with it. So you can see what we're doing there. OK, now we'll come down the other side. So we'll start at this side now. We'll come across here and we'll pull this down. So we're sort of going to meet in the middle. So the mould's already got markings on it, so you'll find by just painting anyway, they'll start to come out without you actually having to think about it too much. Now this is the back, so we don't want to spend too long on this. We just want to get the idea that it's a pumpkin. So we're not going to be spending a lot of time messing around with this bit. We're just literally going to just get some paint down because we've got a lot to paint on the other side. We're going to actually try and match um, some of the wallpaper as someone called it earlier um, with the pumpkin on top so it all kind of ties in together so you can see there what we've done like that okay so it's no longer 
just one colour. It's now got some sort of streaks on it from being a bit more like a pumpkin. There we go, like so. So I've left it in the plastic container to paint. And the reason I've done that is because if I hold it, it's going to get really, really hot. And then I'm going to have a problem um, with the with my hands because they've got heat in them melting the pumpkin. And we don't want that either. So you do. I would just use your plastic container just to hold everything in place. Let's say she having to hold it. Right. Let's paint the green bit on the top. So we'll just dip that in the cocoa butter and change colour. We'll get that done and then we can flip the whole thing over and then we can stay on the other side. So we're just going to get a little bit of moss green. Um, so we'll grab some, I'm going to put some white in there because again it will be too dark. Everything is too dark. And then we'll just, although that is quite lime, let's just go a bit darker. That's better. Just paint that bit over there. So if you're doing any chocolate painting, you do need to use cocoa butter. Everything else will just fall off. It will all paint, but the minute you touch it, it will fall off. So all cocoa butter painting on chocolate. OK, now we're going to turn the pumpkin over carefully and fairly quickly. There we go. So that's the pumpkin now. So that part which is the back part there, will just sit and dry. And we're going to focus on this part here. And I'm going to try and hold it up as best as I can so that you can see it as we go. So we're going to, go, might as well if we got the green on the brush, let's do that first. So we'll get the other side of the stalk done. So we might as well. We are using green later on with something else, but we'll, for now, we will just paint that little bit there like so there we go. now I have to say I painted this last night because I did an experiment last night with one and I've got a backup one if it all else fails and it goes a bit wrong um, and I have to say it this has to get a lot worse before it gets better <laughs> so um, if you're watching this and thinking what is she doing this is getting worse and worse it does it does take a moment and then it sort of turns a corner can't really describe it as anything else but I think all painting can be a little bit like that um, <laughs> so we're now going to do um, the eyes now what we're going to do here we're just going to use a little bit of red so we're going to grab some red and we're going to put a tiny bit of black in it just so it's not too red so it's more kind of burgundy I guess than red like so and we're just going to put a little sort of blob in the middle of this eye and a little blob in the middle of this nose stay with me people <laughs> and then a little blob in this eye here and then down the centre of his mouth there, you just need to put a line. I can't really describe it as anything else, but it's just a kind of line of red like that. It's very simple, very straightforward, and that's it. OK, and then we're going to um, take our brush and we're going to clean it. And we're going to mix up a dark grey colour. So we're going to carry on painting, but with dark grey, not with black, not just yet. The black comes later. So we're using paintbrush number two at the moment. In fact, I think what we'll do is switch to paintbrush one because we are getting into some smaller gaps. So just change your brush as you go towards anything that's getting a little bit more tricky. You know what we've not discussed yet? What? Our famous chocolate pumpkin cake. Well, it's not our famous recipe. What? The chocolate pumpkin oh, cake. Right, yeah. The one that we make every year out of tinned pumpkin, which somebody gave me the recipe for I don't know if she's on this page actually and honestly when she kept bought this thing in I thought what is this but it was the most amazing cake ever so I'll have to try and find it um so we're going to take I have it you've got it have you I'm okay the gatekeeper of it. she's the gatekeeper of the recipes we'll put the recipe up at some point so you can try it you know honestly well it's probably lethal actually what that recipe because it's the only cake I can't leave alone it's really bad is it really? I love that chocolate. sticky chocolate and sticky toffee, though, I won't mention that. And the toffee cake. No, okay. <laughs> Maybe. And carrot cake. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not for cake at the moment. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is we have got um, now a kind of dark grey colour here. We're going to paint inside of the eye. 
up to and quite close to that red. We're not going to go over the red, but we're going to get quite close to it. I'm going to go up the side a little bit as well. So that's OK. You're allowed to do that. There's nothing sort of too um, precise about this because we're going to do the black further out. And the same with this one. Am I still on camera OK? Yeah, just about. My glasses are misting up. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, and we're going to go this way. Breathing occasionally. There we go, like that. Again, it doesn't have to be exact at this time. So we'll go to the nose. It's got quite big features, this pumpkin, but when it's all painted up, it is lovely. I was a bit concerned about it when I first started doing it, but actually by the time I'd finished, I was quite pleased with it. So we just have to go through this sort of strange <laughs> pain barrier moment with this. OK, like that. And then we're going to do the mouth. I need a little bit more cocoa butter because it's not very runny. There we go. Now we're going to paint across here. So we're going to do his teeth got teeth this pumpkin. Kelly and I have we have carved many pumpkin characters oh. over the years. We've done everything from Scooby Doo to haven't we? Yeah. All sorts of I things. Love carving pumpkins. Yes, we do like. I can't remember what we did last year. I probably did some crack or something. I can't remember what we did last year. You did do one last year. I do one every year. I used to get so excited as a kid, I'd do them like two weeks early, and then by the time it's Halloween, they all moldy. They all collapsed, didn't they? Okay, so we're going across there like so. Don't forget this is grey, this is not black. I'll come around the inside of the mouth. We're still leaving that red bit in the middle. There's another tooth there. Needs a trip to the dentist. You painted over his teeth? Yeah. Why? Because I did. Do you like him? No, I wanted him to have blacks. It matches the rest of the cake then, you see. That's why I've done it. Can we still see everything OK? Yep. And we'll come down this side. This is the fun bit. So if you wanted to do this cake and you were wanted to be a bit more organised and do this, you could do this in advance. So let's say your cake's on Saturday, you could do your... You could start doing your pumpkin on Monday or Tuesday and then you'd literally take your seconds to put it together. They really don't take very long at all with those little wraps. They are on within seconds. Let's go that way. Did Alison say she just painted her pumpkin? Yeah. Maybe that's what we should have done. No. No, you want to cut holes in it. I love carving pumpkins. So this should be a little bit like painting by numbers. There's plenty of, um, you just follow it along. Um, if you make a mistake, um, say you put a line in the wrong place, that's when your scriber comes in, because that's when you can take hold of it and just scratch the chocolate out. So if you make a mistake, don't worry, you can always go back and sort it out that way. Right, <laughs> just remember what I said about this. Orange. Sorry? Right. You haven't done that yet. I'm going to do that in a minute. I'm just getting the face done first. Is that all right? Um, now we're going to go to black. So black on its own. And we're just going to fill in the last bits of the nose and the mouth. Sorry, the eyes. So this is now black, not um, grey. So you're going to go right up to the top here. I'm still using paintbrush one. I'm going to have to turn this round a little bit so I can see it. I might just have to move it over there for a second. I'm trying to remain on camera at the same time. It's proving tricky. So, I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to go to the toilet. All right. I'm going to the toilet. No one asks questions. Well, you told <laughs> everyone now. Hmm? You could have just sneaked out the door, Kelly. Yeah, but then people might think I'm ignoring them. Oh, it's dark and spooky. Right. Okay. There we go. Down that side. 
so it's, you'll only notice if you've done this high enough when you put the next bit on so if you haven't quite made it to the top don't worry because you will all get the opportunity to come back and have another go so you've got red grey black okay you can see that in the middle there like that okay all right let's take this black again and we'll go over this side you want to just take your time with this, just don't rush it because otherwise you'll end up making loads of mistakes and it's a really nice thing to do this. It's a nice little activity, nice little evening activity. So make yourself a pumpkin during the day, keep it till the evening and then you can sit in front of the telly and paint your pumpkin. And then you can put it on the cake, can't you, at the end of the week or you can make lots of pumpkins for people to keep. They're not going to keep it, are they? They're going to eat it. Okay, so those are the eyes at the moment. So we're just going to leave that as is. So we haven't just painted them black. We have actually painted them three different colours. We're going to do the nose. Again, we're still on paintbrush one at the moment. Come down this side. Make sure your paint's nice and thick as well to get decent coverage. So if you've got too much cocoa butter in there, it, it, it gets a bit thick, so you just need to up the amount of um, cocoa, uh, sorry, dusting colour that you put in, and that will then help settle it down, like so. Okay, so if I need to come back and do anything with that later, I'm going to let this, let this all dry now before I tackle anything else. Um, we can come back to that later. We're going to go back and do the orange colour now. So we're going to go back to our sort of pumpkin um, sunset orange colour then before we do the next thing. I'm going to try and avoid the eye area because that's where we're going to need to put some white paint down. So I want to try and avoid that if I can. So let's get that all sorted. So we've got sunset orange here, which we're going to add some white to again. And we're going to start at the bottom, just like we did on the other side. Actually, we do need a bit more orange. You can't really see it. There we go. That's better. And we're just going to take that up to the pumpkin. And then just use another drier brush just to pull that through. So I'm going to avoid round his eyes because that's where I need to put my next colour. I'm going to just come across the bottom here. It's always going to be a little bit darker on the bottom. So that's where kind of the shadows are from where it sits. And then, so if you do this on a base of um, sort of pale orange, which is what I've done on this, then that gives you the opportunity to paint it. If you make it orange from the word go, then you haven't got so much opportunity to sort of apply your paints like we're doing here. And we're gonna come down this side. Now we're gonna pull that down a little bit, but we're gonna go back and add some more to this later when I've actually finished what I need to do around this side. Right down the middle. bit up there as well so I'm trying to avoid the eyes okay and a bit more up there that's all got to be done there we go right so now we've done that bit we're now going to start working on getting this pumpkin to match or certainly not match but look very similar to the ones that are on the wallpaper as we described it earlier so we're going to use paintbrush number one and we're going to just clean that up because it's had black in it we're going to start painting with white so i'm going to put this down and just clean up my brush because it's got black in it at the minute and if i try and paint now I'm going to end up with grey and I want to paint with white so I need to make sure I've got it all out which I just about have I think just double checking make sure it's clean right let's turn this round so you can see 
So we're going to take hold of some white and we're going to make quite a nice thick white paint. Now we're going to put this down. If it doesn't go down as bright and white as I want it to first time round, we will do it again. We'll do it twice, but we'll let it dry in between. So you're making a thick white paint. And then what we're going to do, let's get this and try not to knock the cocoa butter off. Using paintbrush one, we're going to paint some semicircles going round the outside edge of his eyes, like so. There we go. And then we're going to do the same going this way. You get about four on each side, roughly. Another one. They're coming out fairly white, but if I need to make them white, I will go back and do it. And then, so what you've got to think about is a semicircle, okay? So you're not trying to do anything else. Half a circle. there mm -hmm. going that way as well so that's that one done now we're going to come back and outline all of this as I've said to you it's with painting it's all a bit kind of creeping slowly towards what we need to do so um, bear with me let's go over this one and again we're just gonna paint half circles again Breathe occasionally. Isn't that right, Kelly? Mm. So there we go. I've ended up with an extra one on this one. Perhaps he's got funny shaped eyes. We could well have. It's yeah, but pumpkins aren't always even anyway. That's what I'm saying. So what we're doing is we're painting something to kind of match the wallpaper or the the sheet that's going around. So it'll make more sense when I put the two together and you'll be able to see it and then you'll understand exactly what it is that's going on here. Okay, and breathe for a moment. Now, whilst we are going to switch brushes now, so we're going to go down to zero. Oh, it's Kelly's favourite one. And we're going to use moss green. And we're going to add some white to it because it's going to be, or are we? Yeah, we are, just a little bit. To brighten it up a little bit. You have to be careful if you're mixing with zero because you don't really want to end up sort of destroying your brush. And then we're going to paint some patterns on the side of this um, pumpkin. So we're going to hold him here like so. And we're just literally going to take our brush and we're just going to paint the swirl. I hope you can see this, just about. I'm going to paint the swirl like so. This is where your symmetry comes in, and it usually goes wrong, so that's fine. And then we'll put another one in there. turn that so you can see it there we go hopefully all the lights are shining on me at the minute okay so is that that one done yeah so that's that one on that side now we're going to put one in the middle so this one we start here on the chin let's tip it that way so you can see run out of paint around that way and then we'll do the same but we'll go the other way like that 
just about see that just about I'm going to pick it up a little bit higher there's a fine line between making sure you can see and me actually being able to do this <laughs> without dropping it I'm going to darken this up a little bit so we can see it a bit better there we go that's better that's better right and then we're going to go down the opposite side of this one check what I did so I started it round about the same sort of area here it doesn't matter to be perfectly honest but we'll we'll give it a go so we'll do another another swirl And then another little one there. You can make these up. You don't have to do this. I mean, you can paint whatever you want, really, to be honest. But this is what we came up with. There we go. Like so. Now, while those are drying, we're going to paint a little red flower just on the top here. So we're going to change brush. We'll go to brush one, I think. There we go. Brush number one. Just get the white paint out of it and we're going to use just neat red and grab some red there and then we're going to paint the flower so all we're going to do hopefully my hand is not going to be in the way too much I'll do my best here um, we're going to start by just painting a petal at the top there we go and then we'll do another one here. I always say to people when they're painting these kind of flowers, just imagine somebody's doing a star jump. That's the easiest way to remember how to lay these petals out. Otherwise, people tend to lay them out like a clock. So they'll do a, a, a 10. No, what is it? A 12, a 3, a 6 and a 9. What? If I say to paint petals, it, I would say paint, oh, I have no idea. paint them like a star jump. Which Kelly will now demonstrate. <laughs> so we'll put a little, little flower on there, like so. Well, again, we'll let that dry. So we'll switch colour again. Where are we? Okay. And um, we're going to switch over to green back to our moss green colour just going to put a few leaves in so we'll put a little leaf in uh, leaf in here so we'll just and then another one on this side same shape as the petals but green star jump is embedded for a certain class <laughs> i did i can't remember what i was doing or what class that was but i talk a lot about star jumps because it's nice and easy to remember then you see right just cleaning my brush up again now I'm going to just risk this, I'm going to take the white, a blob of white, and there we go, and I'm just going to pop that into the centre of that flower there, like so. Okay, that's gone in pretty quick. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline this in black. So I'm switching brushes again, we'll go to back to the zero brush. Make sure I've got a decent amount of cocoa butter on it so I can get my paint off my brush okay. And then we're just going to outline this breathing occasionally so I'm only going to outline the flower this side so he's got a little flower in his head now as well and then we are going to use the same brush while we're going and we're now going to outline this white so we're going to take this brush here and we're going to go around the edge of this so we're just going to take our brush Edge of 
this. When this is all put together, you'll see just this will pick up the pumpkin wallpaper really well. Do you think a chocolate orange could fit into my book? Yeah, I do actually. These are bigger than chocolate oranges. Are they? Yeah. Why are you thinking of putting one in there? No, oh, Nikki. Yeah, no, I think you probably would actually. They are bigger than the chocolate oranges. It's quite a big mould, this one. You could also use a ch um, orange chocolate. That's another one you could use. That is already orange. Or you can make a pink one when Kelly's not looking. So I'll come across here. Once you get in the flow, you can end up doing this much quicker. Let's turn it around. Chocolate orange truffles. Yeah, there you go. Some other ideas. You could certainly fill it with things for sure. We'll come back this way. Okay, like so. Let's turn that round. Now we're going to take the black and we're just going to put some lines on his mouth. So So these can now the lines not come right to the top here, so I just need to paint that in. So we're going to go down and across like so. This is so it matches one of these pumpkins on the wallpaper. And then the same at the bottom. So I might have to go back and just do a bit more black painting on his mouth in a second because it's showing up where the gaps are now. It's all like a bit like a stitching line, I guess. So yeah, there's another bit there that needs painting, so I'll just do that with our little brush. There we go. Okay, now we're going to uh, just clean this brush up again. Oh, actually, you know, we've got my white brush, it's got the white on it, let's stick with that one. So brush number one. And then we're going to turn this on its side and we're going to put some little white dots. Let's make sure we can get them in big enough so we can see them. Right there. And then we're going to put some around the swirls that you did. Oops, sorry, I'm nearly off the off the camera then and then we'll pop some down the side so don't run out of paint just go back and refill it make sure it's nice and bright you can see what we've done down that side and then we're going to come down this side here side and then over here so we've got you know, we did about six or so dots down the side so we will match it some around here some around the side and then three coming down from the top like that okay he's looking very flash now isn't he um let's get rid of that now 
So we're going before I go too much further, I'm just going to go back to my original orange, my sunset orange, um, neat. So just sunset orange and no other colour there. And we're going to just going to highlight these sort of lines here with some of this darker colour. Again, we just need to make sure we can kind of blend that through. So he's got this one there. And there's another one there. And then the rest of the colour that we used earlier, you can then just kind of go around this bit. I didn't want to put this down before I'd done those eyes because otherwise I'd be painting white on orange and oh, it just gets more tricky and takes twice as long to dry. So I'm going to get that white on first. Bring that down. But if you are doing this, remember you need to blend it straight away because otherwise it will dry. There we go. He's looking, he's looking lovely now. And we'll go back up here. I need to check for Kelly for pumpkin approval, you see. Isn't that right, Cal? Yeah. And then down here. Day of the Dead pumpkin. That's exactly what I had in mind. So spot on. Just using this bit to kind of do our shading. Don't forget a little bit darker at the bottom always. Centre line there. Let's go back round there where I just mouth again. There we go, he's nearly done. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just put a little bit more dark up on this part up here. And then we can start putting him together on the cake. And then we'll put a little bit of green, extra green on the top in the darker shade. Because it's impossible for me to paint with one colour, it drives me crazy. So we'll just put a little bit of darker green on there which we'll probably have to do on the other side when we stand him up but that's okay we can do that and we'll just blend that in a little bit and also just a tiny bit on these leaves you can just put a little extra bit of green on there as well to make it stand out right there we go okay so he is um yeah, he's a pumpkin that's going to sit on top of this cake. Just going back to this whole mistake thing, if you do make a little mistake, you can just use a scriber just to scratch the chocolate back a bit, okay? So if you've got any lines that sort of come too far, just use a scriber and just take it off that way. Obviously, don't sort of hack at it because you won't have um, any ability or anything left by the time you've finished. Uh, <laughs> so do it like that. So I'm just going to leave that there for a second. I'm just going to blow this candle out so... I don't forget and we'll move this out of the way so we'll just leave the pumpkin there for a second so you can have a little look at it while we just move this into a safer place oh actually there was one other thing I was going to do I forgot about that um, let's just rewrite that for a second so for those of you that don't like spiders particularly you may want to just look away for the moment um, they're only little ones and they are chocolate, so I'm just pre-warning you now. If yeah, we're actually bringing <laughs> on a real life French. If it was like a, a a snake, I'd be out the door, but it's not. It's just oh, going yeah, to be. Yeah, watched the new Jungle Cruise Disney movie. Oh. She's not very happy. She watched about how much? Twenty minutes. Yeah, no, bad news. <gasps> Yum. So these are little chocolate spiders. Now I did make these in milk. I'm trying not to. Oh, they're all going to come out. Frost is on them. The lovely Marion. Patchwork Cutter Queen. So this is a spider mould. Sorry, everybody, for those of you that don't like um, spiders. I did warn you. Now, if you want to, I've actually made these in milk chocolate, but if you want to make them um, black, you can paint them. Of course you can. So we're going to do that really quickly. So let's just grab 
I could have made them in dark chocolate. You can have one, Kelly. There's loads of them over there. That's what I'm keeping you here for. They're very small. They're not very big. I'm just going to use them on my cake board, I think. So I'm just going to grab some black. And I'm literally just going to go straight over the top. Because I don't really... I like milk chocolate. Um... But I don't really want milk chocolate spiders on my cake because my cake is not that colour. My cake is black and orange and all that. So don't ever sort of feel that you can't just quickly paint these over. You could do them in dark chocolate as well. So if you wanted to make dark chocolate ones, they're, yes, they are a bit darker in brown. But if you want to make sort of black ones, you can paint them quite quickly. It doesn't take very long. I apologise to everybody who doesn't like spiders because I know if this was a snake item, I would be gone. <laughs> I just hate snakes. Ugh. I could just about handle spiders, but snakes, oh, no, no, no. No kind of spiders are welcome here. Yeah, they're chocolate ones. They're all right. So you see what I mean by the difference? So you've got quite a big difference between these two. Um, let's go. So we'll do, how many should we paint? Um, let's do three. Don't really know. Might as well, do four and do four. well, I don't know if I need four. Do you think I need four then? Yeah. All right, we'll paint four then. Doesn't take very long. I'm just using paintbrush number three for those of you who are thinking, what's she doing? Um, this is black food colouring and cocoa butter. Remember what I said to you before, it has to be cocoa butter. If you try and use gel, yes, it will work, but oh my goodness me, it's going to come off if somebody touches it and they'll be literally wearing black gel. I don't think they'll be very pleased with you. Um, cocoa butter will come off but it won't come off um, anything like the gel will just slide off literally slide it's nice and easy it's very straightforward as you can see make nice horrible black spiders really quickly <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of another way of putting it he's just said Christmas spiders was that, you? Was that you? <laughs> Well, no, because Mo Green said you could paint them green and red, so I said I oh, like Christmas spiders. So but such she a thing meant to write lime green, but I was just like red and green Christmas spiders. Is there such a thing as a Christmas spider? They, there they, is they, now. There is now. Yeah. Okay. Let's pop that over there. So on this particular mold, how many spiders do you get, Cal? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sixteen. Six. Is that right? Four times four. Four times four. One, two, three, four, five times four. Twenty. Well, this is what I can see from over here. Yeah, well, it's not. It's twenty. I didn't think that was right. There's twenty spiders on one of these. They are cupcake size as well. No, it's not. Like what? It's sixteen. It's sixteen. Are you sure? No, it's not. One, two. Th oh yeah, it's sixteen. All right. <laughs> 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 That's my right. Silly mummy. Just while Kelly tortures me for a moment. Um. That is, I always put this on my, it looks like I'm catching a spider now. That's cupcake size, two inches, okay? So they do fit on top of cupcakes. I always use that as my little guide so people know. So we'll paint our spiders. Nearly done. One more to go and then we'll be ready to put all our cake together. I'm going to do a little bit of royal icing. We'll get the sprinkles out. Got to get the sprinkles out just to keep us entertained. Right, a little bit more black. So yeah, they are milk chocolate spiders painted black. So the taste of milk chocolate, which is very nice. And again, the reason I did these before I came live is because if I do them when I'm live, I've got to wait for them to come back up to room temperature before I can paint them. So um, it's a bit of a pain too much waiting around so we just go for it do a bit of prep so we've got four black spiders if you do want to paint them lime green what's that the suggestion lime green and red lime green and red then you'd probably i would probably do them on white chocolate i think rather than this color so if you're going to go darker then milk and darker okay but if you're going to go lighter i think probably do them on white but I'm, I'm yet to see a lime green spider, but I'm, I'm sure there probably exists somewhere. Maybe they're, maybe they're from Northern Ireland. <laughs> maybe I'm going to see them when I get there, Kelly. You can paint them black and then there's a cross on the back, a very faint cross on the back of those. Paint like black widow spiders. I'm not putting a black widow spider on here. Black spiders is fine. 
we're not going for realism here we're just going for basic spiders right there we go no no more spiders for anybody i'm going to remove them now so you won't have to see them let's blow that out again. right let's take this out of my way i nearly forgot about the spiders right okay the spiders have gone temporarily they will be back <laughs> we'll see them again in a minute let's move that out of the way as well that was my backup pumpkin in case anything went wrong which it didn't so that's all good so we're now going to make up some we've got some royal icing already made up so as you all know you can make royal icing up with whipping it up which is one of carol's products so whipping it up is icing sugar with egg in it um, the bag sizes are 500 grams if you add 70 grams of water to that and beat it you will end up with um royal icing uh, you can always half the bag and do 250 grams to 35 grams of just tap water doesn't need to be anything fancy really beat it with some electric whisks something like that and then you can store it at room temperature um, and that will be good there did someone just say purple spiders yeah Who is that? i think that's kind of cool who put that nikki yeah actually i think that would be cool purple spiders next time so i've made some royal icing and i'm going to dye it orange that's why I didn't bother mixing that up earlier. So I'll put this well, in. Are you it black? Or did we say black? Yeah. Is there any black over there? What? No, no, not black. Because the sprinkles won't show up on the black. Oh, yeah. We did say orange. I didn't think I was going mad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Is that enough? I don't think that's enough, actually. I'm losing the plot now. Hold on a minute. Let's get some more icing. I'm being distracted by Kelly. we go that's better let's go back onto that screen there oh sorry if everybody doesn't like spiders i'm just moving them off screen skulls yeah right so let's get some of this orange in so this is the orange that i used earlier so it's pro gel orange rainbow dust I'll give that a bit of a mix lovely look at this lovely color and what we're going to do is we're going to fill that gap that we've got at the bottom do you remember earlier we said there was a gap no there shouldn't be a gap the reason there's a gap is because i was got a bit carried away when i was putting the cake together and made it too tall if you've actually got your eye on the ball and doing things properly this wouldn't happen um <laughs> i get distracted you see by these things so there we go so what we're going to do now let's go to the other camera we're going to set up a oh, bag a neon. You could have used a neon. i could have used the neons actually i never thought to use those yeah, you could use the orange neon so we're going to put an adapter in there like so and we're going to pop this nozzle on the end here. Now, this is Wilton 18, the famous Wilton 18. It's a great nozzle, this one. So we're going to put that on the end there. Just wipe my hands because I've got icing all over myself, as usual. Let me sit down and we'll bring this cake in. There we go. We only need to see the bottom bit, so we won't worry about moving it to the top. And then we're going to take this icing into our bag like so it's a nice color this one isn't it i'm going to see us coming with this and then what we're going to do we're just going to make this some rosettes at the bottom so we're not going to overthink this particularly we're just literally going to swirl a bit around the bottom hopefully you'll see that as it comes round. there we go go left or right it's entirely up to you but once you've started try and stick to the same way she says i'll probably change my mind halfway i'm actually going anti-clockwise i normally go clockwise so we're just filling that gap really so you don't need to worry about any gaps can you show the top of the nozzle there you go that's what it looks like so it's just like a star nozzle, okay? So it's Wilton 18 is the nozzle. 
I've used this Wilton 18 a lot on here. I love it. I think it's a really nice nozzle, this one. It's not too big. It's bigger than, sorry, it's smaller than the 1M, um, which is, as we all know, is the big nozzle for doing the big swirls. I'm just going to make these a little bit bigger at the back because they're going up a bit. This also helps cement the cake to the board, which I like a lot. And I know it's not going to fall off. There we go. And then we're going to put a few sprinkles on this bottom bit here. We're going to use some white ones and some black ones. Now, I've got some black and white ones separately. I actually had them. Um, they're listed as ghost eyes of all things because I've been making ghost cookies with them um, but they are just black black balls there we go so we'll get those out in a second there we go it's creaking so we've got little black ones here do we put these on randomly Kelly yeah. I think so yeah so we're just going to go round the outside edge. Oops. You put it online as it's 70 grams? It's no, the black sprinkles are 30. Yeah, when you paste the link it says Well, just ignore 70. that. That's I think I originally set it at 70 and then thought nobody wants 70 grams of ghost eyes, it's just too many. So that's why I changed it to 30. Otherwise you're going to have ghost eyes coming out of your ears, aren't you? So we're going to put that around there like that. Put those in there. Hide your mistakes. <laughs> Always talk about hiding the mistakes. Stick a sprinkle or two on it. Okay, whoop. they're running away from me. Come back. There we go. Pop some around there. I'm going to do this around the top edge as well, I think. Mm. What do you think, Kelly, to match? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you approve? Mm -hmm. We'll do that then to match. Ooh. They're still running away from me, but we're, we're okay. Do we want the white ones on, Kel? I think yeah. we do. Okay. And we're going to throw those randomly at this as well. This random sprinkle stuff freaks me out sometimes. Right, okay, well that's okay, that's fine. Let's leave, put the lid on for the moment. Then we're gonna put the little white ones on. So we'll do that next. And we'll just, I think we'll just throw these. Should we just throw these at this? Oh no, they're going on okay. Okay, so we'll put some little white ones on. So that will pick up some of the white that's on the pumpkin as well as on the wallpaper, which is its new name. Okay. We're doing time wise. See, ne next time I come on here, I'm going to be panicking about the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> I'm going to have to shorten my projects a bit or start earlier, I think. that last year okay. there we go nearly there for the bottom bit and then I think we need to make some decisions about where to put spiders in a minute well we'll do that when we've got the pumpkin on mm. I think let's get all the sprinkles on first they're running everywhere but hey ho that's all part of the fun, isn't it? There we go. Okay, so we've got that little... I've got that going on around there. Right, let's bring this forward a bit. Now, what I might just do... Let's put me on screen for a second while I just move this camera up. Otherwise, it feels like we're on a, a roller coaster. <laughs> there we go. Let's tip that down a bit so we can see what's happening. Let's have a little look. There we go, that's perfect. Right, let's go back on here again. So let's go round now, let's do the top as well. And we'll do that before we put the pumpkin on, I think. 
So we'll do that to match. And then we've covered it all, haven't we? So we'll take this bag. There we go, get the air out. If you'd rather watch me, oh, that's nice. <laughs> um, let's start on a seam, shall we? How are we doing? We can see, so that's all good. And then what we'll do is we'll go round in a rope on the top. So we're just going to clip the edge so you won't be able to see any more joins. You can stop at any point and just move. Going. You can do the rosettes if you prefer, but I don't know for top edge, this is just easy. And round we go. So, Wilton 18. If anybody wants to know what the nozzle is, royal icing, orange, orange pro gel in all cases with the board colour as well. Are you happy with this, Kelly? Is this now yeah. meeting your criteria for pumpkin queen? There we go, nearly there. And then we'll just join it. Okay, back to the sprinkles. And we'll put some of these on the top randomly. Do it while the, the royal icing is still wet. If you leave the royal icing to dry, it's much more difficult. You want to do this straight away. All right, let's put the lid on. And then we'll take some of these little... Well, these will go everywhere regardless. I can hear them dropping. I know, the I know. Just don't look, Kelly. Just don't look. We'll sort them out later. You can hear the odd one here and there. Okay, that's fine. And then what we'll do is we'll just move these ones that are on the top. They can just sit on there. Push those under there. There we go. That's fine. All right. Now, any that are on the board, you can now join the ones on the bottom. The ones that are on the table, I'll move those out of the way. Right, now, the one thing I did think I was do is just make a little plinth for the pumpkin so that it's up high enough so we can see it above this. So I'm just going to need a tiny bit of sugar paste here. All right, so I'm just going to make this so the pumpkin's got something to sit on. I'm just going to check the base size. Yeah, so we're going to use my two inch cutter. And then we'll stick a bit of, well, we might as well just use this orange. It doesn't really matter, to be perfectly honest. We'll pop that on there in the middle, just to raise it up a little bit. Quite steep. Yeah, well, it's going to be high. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, now we need to decide back and front. So let's bring the pumpkin in. Let's put him down there. Let's have a little look what we want to look at. I think that's front as far as I'm concerned. Let's tuck those under there. Okay, so we're going to just put some royal icing on there. We'll take our pumpkin very carefully because we've done all this lovely work. We don't want it ruined. You can't see it at the minute, I realise that. Let's push it. No, it's got to come forward. There you go. It's going to come forward a little bit. Lots of pictures will appear on um, the group afterwards, so don't worry. And we're just going to use the paintbrush under there just to get rid of any orange icing that we can see. Like that. Now we've got spiders. Let's put the spiders on. Another spider alert, please. 
so we can put a little spider at the bottom there so we'll pop that to there yeah, you can see him just at the bottom there. Do we want a spider just on the board, Kelly, or would you like one up here? Oh, what would you like? Do you want one there? Put a little spider up there as well. There we go, we've got something along those lines. Okay. Right, ribbon. Um, print stick. I've got my print stick, which I can't get out of my tool caddy because it's gone in the bottom. There we go. And then I'll just run this round the bottom. What I'll do at the end is I'll hold this up so you'll be able to see it. Because at the moment you can see half of it. <laughs> I'll take it so you can see all of it. And black ribbon, which I did get out unbelievably so we've got black on the bottom down there one coming out of his mouth <laughs> oh so we've got the ribbon on at the bottom there then we'll cut that like so a little bit of glue on the back he is done right I'm gonna pick him up because he's a job to see on this side camera so just bear with me a second while I just move things around don't look at the chaos in the background <laughs> I was looking at all this here and thinking oh no it looks terrible right let's pick it up just bear in mind I've only just attached this pumpkin so I need to be a bit careful here Ooh. right okay we're going this side right there it is Happy pumpkin Halloween, everybody. <laughs> so let me bring that forward a little bit so you can see it a bit better. All right. So I'm not moving it too quickly or doing anything too drastic because otherwise it, we might have a problem on our hands. So you can see the pumpkin mould actually is quite big when you put it on there. Don't drop it. Don't tell me these things. <laughs> Um, and it matches the pumpkin wallpaper, which is very important. Um, and so we've just basically used a colour palette of uh, black, orange and white. A bit of green for the top, but it's that's basically what it is. So let's turn that round that what way. What millimetre is in the colour? 15 mil. Yeah. And then we've got an orange board. We've got a black ribbon. I'm not tipping it, anybody, um, to show you. I will take photographs of it and put it on um, Sugar and Crumbs tomorrow so you can have a little look at it and see. But that's it. So you can always fill the pumpkin with something. You can always fill it up with Smarties or whatever it is that you like. Something along those lines. There we go. Let's turn it that way. I always go the opposite way. Nice little spider on the top there. <laughs> Everybody like the look of that one? It's different, isn't it? It's just something a bit different. I'm always trying to do things that you haven't seen before. Let's make sure it's not going to move. Yeah, always try and do things that... Um, you definitely haven't seen before. Transfers will go onto buttercream, but you do need to mount anything like this on sugar paste first because buttercream is greasy. And if you try and put something like this on buttercream, you'll have a real problem on your hands. So definitely don't put these straight onto buttercream. They do need to go on sugar paste first. So I'm gonna put it down now because I'm scared. <laughs> it will sit here overnight and then I'll come back in the morning, take a photograph of it when it's all set. So don't forget, I've got a new Halloween class out for anybody that missed the start. So we've got a brand new class that's coming out on Saturday. There she is, Classy Witch, we've called her. Um, she is a brand new painting class that is available to book now. I'll get Kelly to put a link up um, in a second so that you can have a little look at that. It is suitable for everybody. So don't worry about sort of thinking, gosh, that's really complicated. I won't be able to do anything like that because we have got templates for you to follow and you only need two colours. You just literally need black and white. So it's nice and straightforward, nothing too complicated to do on there. Okay, right, let's move that out the way. So I'm on holiday next week. Yay. <laughs> I wasn't here last week because of weddings, you see, because it's just chaotic at the moment. Five weddings last week, two this week. Um, so we're getting there, slowly getting there. Um, but next week I'm on my holiday and then I will be back after that. And then I think we're on a straight run through to Christmas. Ooh, I dare say that word. But there'll be lots more Halloween cakes coming. I'm sure we've got some more ideas for you. Lots of um, ghost ones. We're going to do a ghost 
themed cake for you um, on one Tuesday evening. So I'm normally here Tuesday evenings at half past six. We will do our very best to finish on time for the Bake Off, but no guarantees. We'll do what we can. Um, but I will be available on Saturday mornings. Um, the people who watch me on Saturday morning, I will be on Saturday morning this week. Other than that, I'm off on my holiday. So have a lovely week, everybody. Um, take care. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, she's just about still awake. She's been at work all day today, haven't you? Yeah, she's still going, just about. Um, and I will see you all again in uh, two weeks' time on Tuesday at half past six. So take care. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye.